we thank you for today. Thank you for this occasion. We thank you for these two families. But Lord, these, the friends and the support standing right over here to our side, Lord, thank you so much for them as well. Lord, our desire would have been for a different weather, but we know that this is your will and there's so many things that we can learn from this today. But Lord, I thank you for Savannah. I thank you for Nick. And Lord, we're about to see the two of them come together to unite in marriage. And that's what we're here for. And the rain's not going to stop us. And uh, Lord, we just ask for your blessing on this ceremony. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. First day of orientation at USF, one of the speakers was describing what college would be like and explained how throughout these years, you'll meet some amazing people and you just might even find your best friends. Those who will be by your side on your wedding day. <laughs> but little did I know that day would go on to be the day that I gained a best friend and brother for life. Nick has always been a hopeless romantic, constantly searching for the one to spend his life with. He made sure that, uh, that we knew every detail along the way, whether we wanted to or not. Savannah has the kind of soul who honestly cares about everyone um, in her life, and she works hard to make sure they're happy. She is selfless, hardworking, and passionate about everything she does, and that's something I truly admire. And let me tell you, when he first started talking about Savannah, it was never ending. Savannah this, Savannah that, while we're fishing, Savannah, while we're golfing, Savannah, while we're hunting, Savannah, some more. So I knew he was hooked, and it was just a matter of time if she could put up with him, and it turns out that she was just as infatuated with him as he was with her. It's There's been some rain, there's been some storms, but y'all made it through it, and y'all are an incredible couple. And this storm, this rain today, if nothing else, man, just for the rest of your lives together that you're gonna know, you know what, even on our wedding day, there was a storm that came that did not keep us from coming together. And um, I think for all of us that are here, it's an incredible example that you make the best of this, that you're staying positive in it, and you're, even on Thursday, you didn't care, we're getting married. And thank y'all for that, the example to us, and no matter what happens tomorrow, a year, 10, 20, 30 years down the road, remember the storm of today and there's nothing that stopped today. There's no way you weren't coming out here today. There's no way you weren't gonna show up. So no matter what comes up in your marriage and in your lives, man, there's no way for the two of you to go apart, to separate from this point forward. By God in the state of Florida, I pronounce you husband and wife. Nick, you may kiss your bride. Keep God a part of your relationship. Allow him to be a part of your family. And you know, in this, God's by your side. Right now, it's neat because yes, your family is right behind you, but you got a group of friends that's gonna be by your side for the rest of your lives together. You're never alone. You have God, you have an incredible family support. But I'll tell you what, not everybody can say that on their wedding day, they had a crowd like that show up in the middle of some rain. Across the room, like a dream, a movie scene. What's a country boy to do? With those red lips and those blue jeans, my heart's skipping a beat. She's that pure kind of authentic, that top shelf kind of thing. She's southern. 